is a vineyard of the Lord. There is a vineyard for our soul. With all our troubles left behind the door, we drink first light until the dawn. There is love. It's the end of month seven here in Montenegro. Um, I cannot believe it. It's gone by so fast. Um, but this month has definitely been one of my favorite months. Um, it's so beautiful here. First of all, God's creation is astounding. Um, but second, just the home that we've been welcomed into has been um, just so blessed. Um, it's just been a blessing is what I mean. Um, living with Joel and Nicola Baker, um, missionaries who have been on the field for over 30 years. Um, it's just been such a month of just learning and absorbing from them and just having them pour into us, um, praying for us and teaching us different things, um, about, um, ancient Hebrew to just married life, um, it's been really great. Um, we've done some main outreaches too, um, showings of the Jesus film um, in Cyrillic, the local language, Serbian, um, to two of the major towns here. Um, we had a pretty good turnout considering there's only 120 Christians-ish in all of Montenegro. Um, we had about 30 people at the first showing um, and about, I'd say, 15 to 20 at the second, um, which is really good. So praise God for that. Um, it's a way that's been getting through to people. I'm seeing um, the love of Jesus displayed through a movie, through a film. Um, it's been great. So we're really thankful for that. Um, but um, the main thing <laughs> that this month has taught me has just um, been just growing um, more so learning, absorbing and just being coming more aware and solidified in the fact that I love reading the Bible. I love getting nuggets of truth out of there. Like God has so much to say to us and it's so beautiful. And once I get it and I read it, it's so, whoa, and I love it. And I just love sharing it with people and speaking out God's truth. Um, 
the spirit um, speaking through me a lot of the time, getting up to share thoughts and things that God has shown me or been teaching me lately while I've been reading the word has just been such a blessing. And it's something that fires me up and I'm so passionate about. And I'm so thankful that God is keep making it clear. And he's just given me more and more passion for the word and for his truth and to share that truth with people. Um, so that's happened this month, especially a lot. Um, it's been so great. Um, but the main thing also this month has been prayer. Um, the biggest thing right now where Montenegro is at is they need lots of prayer, um, prayer for a revival, pray for the spirit to just descend on the hearts of people and stir it up and get it moving. And for, um, his love to just be revealed that they would be touched by just the power of his love. Um, and that, um, for uni unity within, um, the different Christians here, like they struggle with that too, guys, just like we struggle at home with so many different denominations and churches and this and that. And, I don't even know church politics, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's not foreign here <laughs> either. So um, we just pray for unity. We pray for the spirit to just um, descend and to just take over Montenegro for Jesus, um, for his light just to shine out so much, even more brightly um, than it's already doing. And he's at work. And so just pray for that. Um, pray for um, our team TLC. Uh is going to be no more next month, guys. It's kind of sad. Um, we are having team changes next month. It's ministry, so all the guys on our squad will be together for the month. And all of us women, I'll be in another all-girls team with different women. So um, just pray for those changes and just for continued openness and honesty with each other. And whatever God wants to do and teach us through these changes, let us just embrace it and roll with it. And um, just praises and thankfulness for what we've had. Um, the past seven months as well. Um, prayers for continued health um, as we continue on into Albania <laughs> um, in just a couple of days. So prayers for that and just prayers, um, I would say for you guys at home, um, just that you would continue just to even delve farther um, with the Lord and just to dig in a little deeper to his word, spend some extra time in prayer or just take some time to look at the beautiful spring day that's coming um, to just really take some time to realize that he's whispering to you um, and that he he's trying to romance you because he loves you. I'm um, just taking time to just observe those moments and to even go deeper um, is just really important and it's really beautiful. So I would just urge you to just pray for more <laughs> from the Lord um, and to just pray for continued growth um, at home as well. And to see more of the kingdom, keep coming, keep it coming, Lord. Um, so yeah, um, I'm doing really well. And so just, those are all my prayer requests, I think for right now, um, team changes, major thing. <laughs> um, yeah. So, and leaving this month is going to be really difficult for me, um, and leaving this family. So just prayers for that transition and openness and excitedness, um, for Albania and then Central America. Um, yeah, it's going to be really great. I love all of you so much. As always, if you have any questions or want to talk to me or anything, shoot me an email or comment on my blog. I am available to you guys. I love you. There is love.